Hi, Flash Tube. It's Diane. <clears throat> Today is September 16th, 2023. And again, I am not home. I am in Rochester, Minnesota. My husband has a shooting event at the Southern Minnesota Sportsman's Club, just outside of Rochester. So he's here shooting. So I go to a quilt shop. Fair trade. Um, <clears throat> my Branson video, I showed a quilt. I wonder if I can find a picture here. The weather is absolutely amazing. It is 70s, cool, um, very little wind. There's enough sun. Although this morning, when we were headed to the the shooting range, um, <coughs> excuse me, I get I get the scratchy throat every fall from my allergies. So I'm not I don't have COVID. It's just my allergies, and yeah, every year is the same thing. But it was all foggy, very very foggy. But even then, it wasn't cold. Um, but when I was, we were in Branson, I bought this. So I bought the center panel here, the light one. I wanted to get the dark one, but I grabbed the light one by accident. And I showed that one by Co Coach House Designs. And so at Pine Needle Quilts here in Rochester, they had many of the fabrics. So I picked up. I don't remember how many fabrics it needs, but I picked up a lot of them. So I think I didn't pick up the Moda cotton because I think I have Moda at home. I think I have some white. And then I can get started on that quilt. And then for my daughter's quilt, <clears throat> excuse me, which is this guy laundry basket quilts so in love I showed that I picked up four quilts that I was in Milwaukee and so these are the fabrics that I have collected for it these eight so I had four from Branson and then four in Milwaukee and I found this one and this guy to add so I still have, I think, six more fabrics to find. I think that's about right. And they have this pattern. Of course, there's a sample on the wall, and you know that gets us everywhere. Um, Hello Fall by Chelsea Stratton Designs. It calls for 30 fat quarters and then background fabric. So I'm thinking the background fabric could be just a solid. And the the fabrics they have in here are just plaids and but I have some autumnal fabrics I'm gonna use. <clears throat> they have this book. I have not seen this book before. Uh, walk Master Machine Quilting with Your Walking Foot by Jackie Gehrig. Gehring. Um that is something I want to do. So you piece the quilt. I love piecing the quilts. I love kidding quilts and then piecing them. It's the quilting part that I need to get. Well, that's where you put the batting and the backing and then you put everything together. That's what I need to work on. So they had this one and just a quick glance through this book. Um, it looks very informative and I do have a walking foot and just kind of understanding what I'm doing. Um, yeah, because this is that part is new to me. But I want to be able to quilt like the, the quilt I just showed the <clears throat> excuse me. I love fall. Now this guy to go on my wall, I want to be able to quilt it myself. But I do have baby number eight's quilt done pieced. 
that will be quilted with my credit card because it's a queen size and I just I don't have the setup to do it do it justice I did finish binding my daughter's quilt baby number seven so that quilt is completely done she has it she put it aside ready for winter um, I did finish it in Milwaukee so I didn't stitch did I stitch no I didn't stitch on um, fragments in time because I just finished quilting that or uh, excuse me binding that but then Monday we get back and then our our baby number nine has his senior pictures so we had those taken and then um, that morning when we were still in Milwaukee my husband decided for whatever reason to stub his toe on the refrigerator in the hotel room and he's like oh I just stubbed it and I'm like mm, I don't think so I wanted to take him to urgent care after my son's pictures and urgent cares. The idea with urgent care is, you know, if you have a, a simple cut or something like that instead of overwhelming ERs, yeah, the urgent care closes at six. And if you don't have your slot in urgent care at four, you can't get in. And the other urgent care closes at eight. It, it's just so stupid. So we get there a little after six thinking well they're open for another two hours they have two people waiting two. not with major life things uh no we don't have time we, we can't can't take you like he needs an x-ray to see if he broke his toe and that the so um we had to go to the ER and of course everybody else who wanted to go to urgent care all funneled into the ER <clears throat> and so we spent a couple hours there um, actually they had five or six patients lined up in the hallway and they went from one patient to the other they weren't triaging them that's one thing they would take everybody to this triage room but um, that's where they treated people and my husband and I were driving home later, and he's like, what about patient confidentiality? And I said, yeah, that's what I was thinking. We're sitting there in the hall. But yes, he did break his toe. The radiologist isn't 100% sure he broke his toe. I'm like, that means you broke your toe. Because <clears throat> radiologists are good enough to know, yeah, you didn't break your toe. If they're not sure then you broke it um so it was his pinky toe on his left foot and his left foot is his weak foot so he had to get a shoe thingy and it kind of looks like an open-toed sandal and uh it's designed so when he walks instead of your foot flexing which to be honest because of his cidp his foot doesn't flex that much anyway but it, it keeps it flat so he, you do the clomping thing rather than having your foot and your toes go up and then down and like when you walk and so now he's doing his shooting thing and yesterday we had a, we had to put some fence posts in and do that and he didn't wear a shoe he wore regular shoes yeah he's a man it's like, do it the way your wife tells you. Because <clears throat> I will admit when I don't know something. But I may not admit it to my husband, but I will admit it to somebody. But then we get here at the hotel. We're at the Hampton Inn in Rochester, the, um, the one off of Broadway. Because I guess there's two different locations. This is the same one we stayed at last year. It's very easy to get in and out. It's very close to the shooting range. And the quilt shop is like five miles that way. And tomorrow we'll go home, tomorrow afternoon, and I'll go to Barnes & Noble um, tomorrow because my cholesterol is high. I have to do some research. But uh, <clears throat> there's a book there that I want to get. 
Um, this is, it's very clean, very good, nice people. And my husband, there's a that black line right there. You're supposed to be able to plug stuff in. So he gets here and he's gonna just plug his phone in to charge it. Blew the breaker for this room and that room and the hallway. And uh, so he had to go to the front desk and I was using the bathroom at the moment and, I'm, and all the lights are out. I'm like, well, at least I'm sitting in the appropriate spot. But, um, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't stub my toe or anything. Just saying, like, yeah, go get them. I, I washed my hands and all that. And, and I sat in here and waited for a little while. It was still light enough. I could have the window open and get natural light. And they kept trying to fiddle with the breaker and trying to figure out what's going on. It turns out that that whole stand had to be unplugged. So it's the stand. It wasn't my husband's. So I'm going to assume that when we leave tomorrow, they're going to say, yeah, we need to replace that. Because every other outlet in the room works. But my husband, he needs to plug in his CPAP. We were able to find a place for him to do that. But yeah, I'm like, really? You broke your toe on Monday, and then you break the hotel room on Saturday. And then, I don't remember, I don't think I mentioned it in the last video when I was in Milwaukee. Um... That Tuesday, I had to take Minnie Dot into the ER at 3 in the morning. He had swallowed a Lego, an itty bitty Lego, but he had worked himself up, as six year olds do, and then he started having vomiting. And my husband, after the, the second time, he's like, It looks like there's blood. Okay, so I took him in. They did an x ray, they couldn't find it. But we do know it's not in his lungs. So it is an itty bitty, one of those itty bitty round one pip ones. So um, yeah, I'm sure it's already worked its way out. But because um, he's shown no other signs, he didn't have any breathing distress aside from he worked himself up and got him calmed down and he was fine. And we watched him for a while and yeah. He's baby number 14. He's the first one to swallow Lego. He's not the first one to swallow something that I had to call the nurse line. I will admit that. His older brother swallowed a little bit of iron, like literal iron ore. Yeah, he was four. And so then this week I took my husband to the ER. I'm like, okay, next week nobody Nobody can go anywhere because these things come in threes. Anyway, um, this week we are getting ready to do more traveling. So I will probably not do a video for a while. We'll see. Um, but the our fall so far has been gorgeous. I hope it stays this way. Uh, autumn, fall is my favorite season of the year. I don't want winter. I'm, ugh. We had such a long winter last year and so much snow. It's like, can we not do that? Can we not? But um, I'm going to stitch on fragments in time. I might work on my Bible study first and then do that. And just chill until I have to go pick up my husband. And let's see. So I did my last video. Anything else happened in Milwaukee? Uh, we went to a, a restaurant in Milwaukee. I'm not sure how to say it. It was a Vietnamese restaurant. Uh, so it's V-I-E-T-I-E-N-N-E. -E -E. Very good. Very good food. I, I Very good. Very nice people there too. So I think that's all we did. The drive back was nice, although it was rainy most of the day until we got closer to home, which was good because I was worried about my son's senior pictures, but he was able to do them. And we'll see the results within a week or two. Um, 
I'm not in a rush. But yeah, I keep hoping that the schedule gets a little more normal. I will say I did finish Renaissance Mermaid completely. I'm going to show a picture, but I will show it on a regular update video. And there she is. Oops, do this. There she is. So I used that charm right here and I did have to adjust these little lines here just a wee bit and just kind of fiddled with it but it looks really really nice she's a beautiful pattern I did mess up one of the beads uh, as in color selection but to be honest it was so close to the other color yeah I'll explain it when I show her uh, you would never know otherwise and that's uh, my son's piece, but you'll see it better in the update video. And here's where I'm at on Aquila. So page one, two is about right in here. So I have, I won't just fill in some of the skin. The skin, there's a lot of quarter stitches and it was just driving me a little nuts. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go down. Here are some feathers here. And I actually have it, this whole orb here is filled in. I finished stitching all the colors in there beyond beads. Uh, these openings you see up here are going to be beads. There's feathers started here and then on her skirt. So that is where she's at. And so I will show her um, my next update. Is that the only stitching I've really done? I've just been going, going, going. And this week does not look any different. <clears throat> so I have ortho and speech and doctor's appointment. Yeah. Yeah, adulting is interesting. But I'm gonna let you go and chill and stitch until I have to go pick up my husband. And tomorrow he has his event, so I have to check out of here by noon here at the hotel. And his event doesn't get over until about 4 tomorrow, 4 or 5. Um, so I'll just putz around, find stuff to do. But I'll talk to you all later. Love to you all. Bye.